Welcome to Live a Better Life Tarot. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Your donations are welcome and appreciated. This reading cannot and will not resonate with everybody. However, if it does, I hope it helps you live a better life one way or the other. Let's begin. Hi Pisces, this is your weekly January 12th through the 18th tarot reading. Let's talk about your work situation first. We've got the Death card, the Empress, the Moon and the King of Cups. Three major arcanas. Um, you could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio or another Pisces. Somebody could be quitting their job this week or starting their maternity or paternity leave. Some sort of a change or transformation is taking place. It could be shrouded in mystery or fear or illusions. The King of Cups in the spread could be you being able to restrain your emotions or it could be somebody you're dealing with. Let me know in the comments sections uh, how this actually plays out. If you're in an established relationship, Pisces, this spread is for you. An established love relationship is marriage or long-term partnership, living together or still living separately. We've got the full Three of Pentacles and Nine of Cups. You and your partner are starting something new together. Perhaps you just recently took your relationship to the next level, whatever that level is for you, which uh, fulfilled one or all of your wishes. The two of you could be going on a trip together and you're happy about it. Pisces, if you're open for new love this week, this spread is for you. We've got the Emperor, the Knight of Swords, the Hermit, and the Hermit is clarified by the Six of Swords. You could be dealing with an Aries, Virgo, or a younger air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I don't see any cards directly suggesting a new love offer is being extended, but somebody could be coming in fast. Could be an Aries. However, the Hermit and the Six of Swords combo makes me think you're not really open to that person. You're actually avoiding them and distancing yourself from them. Perhaps that person simply doesn't vibe with you. Pisces and love from the past. It doesn't have to be your most recent ex. It could be somebody from three months ago, a year ago, or five years ago. We've got the King of Cups, the Queen of Cups, the Page of Wands, clarified by death. You could be dealing with uh, Water Sign, Cancer, another Pisces, or Scorpio. What I do see here right away is the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups is a couple. So what I think will happen if your ex actually does reach out to you and the page of ones often means a text message or an email or you know that kind of communication if that happens you're not even going to respond to it you'll just keep it in the past where it probably belongs let's see if anything will surprise Pisces this week we've got the moon clarified by the two of Pentacles we've got the ten of cups and the knight of Pentacles you will probably be surprised by something related to finances about your family or your partnership. It could be something unknown, possibly something you never dealt with before, or something that gives you fear and uncertainty. You'll be looking at all the pros and cons trying to decide whether to accept it or not. This concludes your weekly reading. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell. I hope it resonated with you, and if it did, I hope it helps you live a better life. Thank you for watching.